Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Janisa, and I wanna say this is my first video on camera, like cooking, so I might be a little nervous, so bear with me. Today I'm gonna be making a viral chicken Caesar salad pasta. So the first thing we're gonna do is boil our pasta. Well, these are the ingredients you need. You need pasta. I'm just using elbow macaroni. That's what I have, so that's what we're using. Um, you need some chicken. Um, some people I saw they were using rotisserie. You could use chicken breast, whatever you got, just use it. Some bacon. If you don't eat pork, you could do turkey bacon um, or no bacon at all. Romaine hearts for the salad part. Parmesan cheese. And instead of Caesar salad dressing, I'm gonna be using the Chick-fil-A avocado lime ranch dressing. Let's see if I can show y'all. But yeah, so that's the main ingredients. Obviously you're gonna need salt, pepper, and all these other seasonings, but I'll just show that later. So first things first, we need to get our pasta boiling. So I'm gonna fill this up with some water and I'll be right back. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook our bacon. That way, once it cools down, we can cut it easily. So I like to make my bacon in the microwave because it's easier. Gonna put some paper towels. Mm, probably put it from the top. Again, you don't have to use pork um, bacon. You can use turkey bacon or no bacon at all. So I'm going to probably four strips. And I learned this trick from my friend Reagan. I'm gonna cover the bacon with some paper as well. So that way it don't like splatter everywhere in the microwave. So I'm pop this in the microwave for a couple of minutes and then I'll be back. Y'all, and since this water is starting to come up to like a little simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and season it. A little bit of that and a little bit of salt, not much. Cause you want your pasta to taste like something. You don't want it to just taste like, you know, seawater or whatever. So I'm let that come to a boil and then we're gonna work on this chicken. I'm using skinless chicken thighs. I thought I got boneless and I did. So now I'm kind of mad, but it's okay. It's all good. So I'm probably gonna have to cut around the bone. I'm gonna cut some of this fat off. Guess it'll be good to get on camera and show y'all what I'm doing. So I'm pretty much cleaning most of this fat like off the chicken because you don't need all that. If you like it, you could keep it. I don't like it, so I'm not keeping it. Like I'm okay with a little bit, but not that much. But yeah, um, this pasta has been going viral on social media and my friend, she sent me a video of it and I'm like, all right, I'll try and see, you know, make my own little take on it. So instead of Caesar dressing, I'm going to be using the avocado lime, the, um, the Chick-fil-A sauce and I was gonna do a lemon pepper chicken, but I'm not really in the mood. So we're just gonna, actually, I'm gonna do the lemon pepper or like a lime or something, cilantro lime chicken. That way it goes with the, um, the flavors go well with the avocado sauce. But um, I don't have regular vinegar to 
wash my chicken, so I'm gonna get some apple cider vinegar. And some salt. And then I'm gonna just let it sit for a little bit. I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit and then I'll be back. All right, y'all, it's been a little while, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the chicken and then we're gonna come back and season it. Hopefully this water is boiled by then. Okay, y'all, so for the seasoning, I'm gonna keep it real light. Um, I don't wanna do too much, but I'm gonna use a little bit of this chicken bouillon powder. A little bit goes a long way. Some cayenne pepper. You don't have to if you don't like your food spicy. But I like my food spicy. Some Cajun seasoning. I'm not sure if it's gonna read on camera, but. adobo and it has cilantro and lime. Let me see if it reads on the camera. And then you just want to make sure you put enough seasoning so that, you know, the seasoning penetrates through the meat. So just gonna Mix that all together. Make sure both sides are equally coated. And hopefully this water can start boiling so we can boil the pasta. But this is how your meat should look. Hold on, let me come. This is how it should be seasoned. If it don't look like this, it's not right. So we're just going to let that marinate until this water comes up to a boil. Then we're going to put the pasta, the noodles in the water, and then I'll come back. All right, y'all. So now that the water is boiling, we're going to go ahead and add our pasta into our water. Again, I'm using bow tie, but you can use whatever. It off. It all does the same thing. Just mix it all together and then I'm gonna put the lid back on because it's taking too long. So I just put the lid back on so that the water and the boil, well, the pasta can cook quicker. Again, in the meantime, your meat should still be marinating. Once the pasta is cooked, we're gonna drain it and then put it in a separate bowl and then we're gonna cook the chicken so that it's all the way cooked through. And I mean, we're pretty much almost done. So stay tuned, I'll be back. All right, y'all, so it's been about 12 to 15 minutes. Um, I think the noodles are ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and strain them, and then we're gonna cook the chicken. So I strained the pasta, and we're gonna go ahead and cook the chicken in the same pan. So let me get, oh, I got some oil. You can use whatever oil you want, it don't matter. You wanna put just enough in the pan, that way the chicken doesn't stick to the bottom. I'm gonna put the chicken this side down first. And you want to make sure that your pan or your skillet is super hot. And we're just going to cook them for <laughs> however long it takes to be cooked. Um, yeah, I'll probably turn the cap on how long I cook it. 
So really you just want to get a good stir on the side and then you know you can check them and see if they're ready. But I'm gonna let these go for about eight to 10 minutes on one side and then I'm gonna flip it over and do eight to 10 minutes on the other side. And I'll be back. All right, y'all, so the chicken needs to go for like another eight to 10 minutes possibly. So I'm gonna just let that go. And then from there, we're gonna let it rest. And then we're gonna cut the romaine. We're gonna cut up our bacon and we're pretty much just gonna put this all together. Stay tuned, I'll be back. All right, y'all, so our meat should be done. So now that our meat is done, we're just gonna let it chill out. You don't wanna cut it immediately because you don't want the juices to fall out or render out and gonna have some dry chicken. So I'm just gonna set this to the side for like 10 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna cut up our lettuce and our bacon so we can make this salad or make this pasta. First thing we need to do is cut up our bacon. our lettuce and we're going to cut it up too. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up one head of washed romaine. Who's making all that noise? Stop. this part of the lettuce. I don't know why, so we're not going to use it. So we have our pasta, our romaine, our chopped bacon, and now we just need to cut up our chicken. So since I bought bone-in chicken thighs, I'm just gonna take the bone out, cut around it. All right, y'all, so everything is pretty much cooked. So we got our pasta in the bowl. I put the chicken in the bowl. Go ahead, put some bacon. Um, a little sprinkle. Just do like a couple handfuls of that. And I want to see if I can mix it. Try not to break your pasta when you're mixing it all in. Instead of Caesar dressing, I'm going to be using the Chick-fil-A avocado lime ranch dressing. Let's see if y'all can see that. And I'm just going to, well, it says shake well, so make sure you shake it. Make sure you shake it. And then I'm going to do 12 ounces in here. So I'm going to eyeball four ounces first. That was probably more, but whatever. So I'm just do that first and then I'll add as I go. And 
And this is gonna take some muscle work, so. Hopefully it's not arm day for you when you're making this. But I can smell it, it actually smells really good with the avocado lime um, ranch dressing. So maybe it's not a chicken Caesar salad pasta, more like a chicken avocado lime ranch pasta, but it's all the same thing. The good thing about cooking is that, you know, you could switch it up. You don't like Caesar, use ranch. You don't like chicken, use turkey, you know. If you don't eat bacon, don't use it or, you know, use turkey bacon. There's like so many different substitutions um that you can do when it comes to cooking so now that i've got most of this mixed up i want to add some more lettuce to it because it's more pasta -y. I'm just add the whole thing at this point I'm gonna add some more of this avocado lime ranch. Probably end up using a whole bottle. Might as well, right? Oh. Y'all. <laughs> Look what just happened. How to That's what I get for using Dollar Tree supplies. We'll continue using this. Just the other thing was more flexible. Make sure everything from the bottom comes up to the top also. So I'm liking how it's looking. Just have a couple more steps to do. So a lot of stuff certainly about me. We have to add Parmesan cheese because you can't have a Caesar salad without Parmesan cheese. But I wanted to just add a little bit of cracked black pepper. Just a little bit. I feel like everything tastes better with like coarse ground black pepper. So we'll add that. Cheese. A little bit more. Call me cheese, babe. So, I done made a whole mess. Let me clean it up, hold on. I can't cook and be dirty. It's like a pet peeve of mine, I can't do it. All right, so we're gonna mix our Parmesan cheese into this pasta salad. Now that we have everything well incorporated, I kind of want to try it on camera and see how it tastes. So we're going to go ahead and try it. Okay, this is good. Definitely highly recommend it with the avocado lime ranch. I think it just gives it like a different flavor compared to just the regular Caesar dressing. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I like this. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment box and I'll try to answer them for you. Um, I'll try to be as accurate with my measurements, I don't measure anything. I just 
put it in there and hopefully it tastes right but i guess the secret could be just put a little bit and then you know add on as you go so if you enjoyed this video like it share it put a comment and also let me know if there's any other um dishes that you guys would like for me to make um it was a pleasure cooking for y'all today and again this is my first face youtube video so i'm gonna try to do more and i hope you guys have a blessed day